I got the trailer with the idea of like, you know, maybe I can compete with that competition right there. Look at the guy with the with the van pulling a wagon. I'm always bumping into the phone. He's got a full-size van pulling a wagon. So yeah, this family right here, they're, they're clearing everything out. You still. <laughs> and uh, they gave me this homemade trailer. So it's four by eight, the carriages, but that's two extra feet right here, so it could actually be 10 feet by 4 feet wide. One little problem. One tiny little problem. Oh, it has a title. So that's... Oh, it's got a lot of wasp right now. But the load range... It's only each tire is only able to carry up to 550 90 pounds so that's not enough really for what I do so trailer and weight inside can't be any more than what almost 1200 pounds and the trailer's got to weigh about 400 right three four hundred Oh, always a dilemma. I was thinking I could take this and and modify it into one of them camper trailers that I have at the compound. And then I would have a legit homemade trailer. Maybe? I don't know. Because with some modifications, okay, this is only four feet wide, but the pickup truck is five and a half feet wide or something like that. I don't know. By eight feet. So that could be made up by taking up the extra two feet, I think. Some of that. That's got a lot of wasps living on it. There's one right there. That's awful. Anywho, maybe I should just modify modified both trailers. Sure has a lot of left. I came flying out of there. <laughs> it's got sideboards for ramps. You could tell it was owned by some old guy. It had lights on the back and even a license plate. Ooh, gonna get stung. That thing is kind of funky right there. Huh. Well, I need a tow ball. I mean, uh, I don't know, I need a receiver hitch or something. Who knows? I don't know. Plus the tranny on this thing is a little, that's a little weak.